The Palace of the Oluofori has cleared the air regarding the position and power that accrues to the holder of the title of Olobosere. This is coming against the backdrop of statements credited to the former holder of the title, Ayuri Imami. But family spokesman to the Olobo Shere family are accusing the palace of not following due process in the emergence of the Olu. The dust raised by the dethronement of Ayiri Mami as the Olobo Shere of Ishakiri land has led to several disputations in the public space. The action of the Olu of Wari took many by surprise, although close watchers believe it was a pragmatic measure that enabled the new king to consolidate power. Ayiri Mami's public opposition to the emergence of the Ulu and his subsequent dethronement are the key issues which required clarification. Chief Mena Brown is here in company of a prince of Iwere Kingdom. When the king has said, this man truly is not fit to bear this title, therefore I disrobe him. There ought to be the quiet, the acceptance of it. But instead, he has the effrontery to even say he does not recognize the Olu. It is an affront of the highest order amongst us. On the other hand, Ayiri Emamis isn't taking this line down. It was a coup. It was a palace coup. They purportedly suspended Chief Ayrimi Emami, the Ulogbo Shere of Wari Kingdom, then to pave way for them to now uh, activate this uh, act of illegality. The palace chief also dismissed rumors to the effect that the title of Ulogbo Shere had been reduced to a mere nickname. But the camp of the dethroned Ulogbo Shere insists that Ayiri Emami is still the custodian of the title. The Ulu said it categorically. The title was not abolished, even though he has the powers to do so. But he did not. As a matter of fact, he said the appellation of the title will be answered to, in the meantime, by the most senior person. The current Ulubu Shere of Wari Kingdom, Chief Airimi Emami, has simply said that, look, there are uh, extant laws guiding the succession to the throne of the Olu of Wari, let us follow this extant law. In the Shakiri ethnic group areas, which, 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 which provide up to 30% of Nigeria's oil and gas is produced, a renaissance of massive development into tourism, business, environment, infrastructure, infrastructure etc. is urgently required. As it stands, the power of conferring and withdrawing titles in the Shekiri kingdom rests with the Ulu and the message of his emissaries right now is for all sons and daughters of the land to join hands and march into a new era. Theophilus Ilama, TVC News, Lagos.